so you mentioned Lyme disease, and I want to go back to that for a moment. What do you find to be the most helpful with Lyme disease? That's a good question. I think, uh, you know, Lyme disease is, is one of the scourges of our time. And uh, it's like the syphilis of our time, which has multiple manifestations that create devastating effects for people. It's very hard to treat. Imagine syphilis before penicillin. So now we have uh, tick-borne illnesses, which is not just Lyme, but all sorts of Lyme-related infections, all sorts of t uh, tick-borne-related infections that, that can be often occurring in combination and are hard to diagnose because the lab tests are ineffective often, they're not definitive, uh, they sometimes are positive, they sometimes are negative, and so people suffer with, with these problems for long periods of time. And there are indirect ways to sort of figure this out. There are immunological tests we do, there's culture tests, there's antibody tests, there's genetic tests, so we're looking at a lot of different factors. Uh, there's a great book uh, by Dr. Richard Horowitz called Why Can't I Get Better, which is really about this chronic inflammatory immune infectious disease process that's related to Lyme-related infections. So it's often really getting the diagnosis right, and then treating people, and then often cleaning up the rest of their health, and cleaning up their diet, and cleaning up their body, and getting rid of heavy metals, and cleaning up their gut. Because when you are stronger, you'll be able to fight whatever infection is better. And then it's a matter of getting on the right antibiotics sometimes, or herbs, or cocktails and treatments that we use. So it's really a comprehensive approach. Sounds great. 